What's going on, everybody? Ed0626 bringing you some War Thunder gameplay. I'm using the Japanese tanks today. And it's not often I use Japanese tanks in this game. But if you guys remember, there might have been a. I don't know if it was the seven year anniversary montage or what. But there was. On this map, I had a sick fucking thing that happened to me. I don't know if it was the, the most recent uh, anniversary montage or last year's anniversary montage, but I really um, I really had a great moment in this uh, in this uh, on this map where I was using this tank specifically, I think, and some jackass was trying to rush, bum rush me, trying to catch me off guard. Lo and behold, uh, he tried to ram me. I absolutely I shot his uh, his turret and it penetrated and I ended up destroying his tank and it was probably one of the best War Thunder moments I personally ever had because I was like holy shit how did that happen well here we are once again on this map using this Japanese heavy tank I believe it's a heavy tank anyway and I smack the fuck out of this team I must have had at least five to seven kills in this game alone a couple of enemy team kill assists as well Lots of good stuff, even though this is a pretty low BR, and because uh, you know I don't play this game as often as I would as as as, uh, as I would like. <laughs> Little tongue twisted there. However, that's kind of the point of today's video, if you really think about it, to uh, have a proper segue. The point of this game is uh basically you know no matter how no matter how much time in between I, I don't play War Thunder uh, War Thunder is probably one of the most least played games on my PlayStation not because I don't like the game I actually really enjoy War Thunder because it's probably and I said this before one of the most realistic tank or vehicle games that I've ever really played more so than World of Tanks because World of Tanks is uh, mechanics at times are fucking ridiculous and get fucked, buddy. That's kind of like another moment I had uh, from what I was talking about earlier in the video. But yeah, it seems as though no matter how much time in between sometimes that I don't play War Thunder, when I do eventually come back and play it for, you know, an hour, hour and a half, you know, hour and a half, and then I don't play it again for like six weeks, something in me just you know helps me get good gameplay now it's not like this all the time but there are times where I'm like you know what uh, where I just have go absolute ham like in this gameplay here and for instance I don't know what the fuck that guy was thinking I think he was in like a BT7 or a version of the BT7 BT7's armor is not good I know this from World of Tanks it's not good armor so the fact that he even gave me his side armor to shoot at is beyond stupid, which is probably one of the better places to shoot a tank. Side armor or behind. But yeah, man, it's like every time I play this game, it's like, yeah, there's a couple of uh there's a couple of uh games where it takes getting used to again, you know, maybe I don't do so good, but at the same time, you know, there are games like this where I just go absolutely ham and I just shit on the entire enemy team. I mean, in this portion of the game alone where I was using this tank, I think I'm about to get destroyed right here. Uh, right about... I'm trying to shoot at this tank. I, was, I thought I was going to hit him in this case right over here. As soon as I made that shot, dead. Don't know where that shot came from. Don't care. But, like, I, I had five kills alone with that tank. And I was just, like, going absolute ham with it. It, it takes a lot of damage, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, it's it's really good, man. I really do enjoy this game. And every time I come back to it, like I said, it just, you know, it takes me a little while to get used to the mechanics and the controls again. Once I get the hang of everything, that's when uh, you know, the shit starts to roll. It really starts to come back to me and, you know, then I watch a lot of Fly Daily too, which is arguably one of the most probably the biggest War Thunder YouTuber that I know of personally. And he, you know, watching his videos have really helped me more or less kind of focus on my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, my strategy when it comes to playing War Thunder. Like, for instance, earlier in the gameplay, my first goal was to try and take the high ground. Once I realized the tanks were not able to be shot at from here, I started pushing up a little bit deeper. And, you know, this area right here is where 
I had a decent amount of success in the last tank, so I was like, you know what, let me go back to the well and see if it works. I didn't get as many kills as I would have liked, but I did have my teammates kind of helping me out, so I was still getting points for team assists when I was, uh, you know, dam really damaging enemy tanks. So yeah, I mean, it's all muscle memory when it comes to these, you know, these types of games. It's all muscle memory. It's all about, you know, what areas have I had the most success in, and how do I want to continue said success when I do eventually die and have to move on to my next tank, which, you know, happens more often than, not, than I like to admit, but it's still, you know, helpful. But anyway, guys, this pretty much concludes the game here. You know, I, like I said, you know, once the enemy team pushed up, as you can see, we were absolutely destroying the guys. We took the base, and then from that point on, we were just completely dominating the uh, opposing team. And, you know, like, had it not been for those five or six kills that I had, you know, maybe the, uh, this, the complexion of this game would have been completely different. But yeah, man, has there ever been a game that, you know, you don't play for a certain period of time, but when you do come back to play it, it, it's it's just as fun and you do just as good as you used to so leave that down in the comment section below I will gladly love to have a conversation with some of you guys about it that being said I'll see you guys on the next video have a great day and most importantly peace out